It's Thursday night and it's Halloween weekend, but I'm not going anywhere because I don't have plans tonight. Maybe tomorrow, but today I'm honestly so exhausted I'm not going out. I just wanted to show you guys a quick haul. I just went to buy a bottle opener and I came back with a whole ass haul. I did not know Daiso was that addicting and it's right down downstairs for me. And then I went to Uniqlo. So I just want to show you guys what I got. I got these moth sweatpants. And I mean, come on, this is like my color and I need this color in like any item of clothing. I have it literally for everything I own. And I was really surprised because usually sweatpants don't fit me very well. Like they either bunch up at the crotch or they're too long because I'm really short and this fit me perfectly and it's so soft and comfortable and I'm glad I got it because when I went to check the sizes, they are going fast like the smalls. So I just picked it up because I feel like if I waited any longer, they probably will sell out. These were $30, which is kind of pricey, but at the same time, I wear sweatpants so much that it's worth the investment for me and they're really comfortable. So so Daiso is basically the Japanese 99 cent store, um, but everything is actually good quality and super cheap. If you convert it to US dollars, it's $2.50. So everything was a little bit more expensive due to just like import taxes and all of that. But I honestly think I got a lot of good stuff. But first, I got my sommelier knife which i used to open wines and beers i had some friends who came over and they bought so much beer and so much alcohol and it's just sitting in my fridge and i was about to pop open a stella but realized i couldn't open the bottle so i want to pick this up because i feel like no matter where i go or wherever i move this you'll need i also got cotton swabs um, but these are like the spiral ones so if you look at like over here they actually um are spiral instead of just like rounded shape. It's actually like, I wouldn't say better for your ears, but it's just like more convenient. I picked up some cute stickers. These are Rilakuma and the Sumiko characters. I also got like two of everything because I want to give stuff to my friends because I know some of my girlfriends love this kind of stuff and I just want to give them like cute little gifts because so I got these hand sanitizers holders these are so cute and they did have light pink but I feel like everything I own is light pink so I kind of want to switch it up since I don't want like everything to look the same my airpod case is already like cutesy like this too and it's light pink so I want it to use light blue or yellow and I'm gonna give one to my friend. Oh my god, these are so cute. This is a coconut bun. And then I also got washi tape. I got these floral ones that I feel like my friend will like. And then I also got a dog and cat one because my friend loves cats. These cute gift bags. They're blue and they're just so cute. There's five. It comes in a pack of five and it also has like thing stickers and it's paper. I feel like it's just kind of like for anyone, like boy or girl. So that is what I picked up and that was my haul. And I'm gonna pop over my Stella now and enjoy my pre Halloween weekend. Good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Maybe. I've been going nowhere lately It's time to start all over and go for it Cause they don't even they don't Good afternoon guys It is Saturday and it is 3pm And I just rolled out of bed Because I went to a rave yesterday And I didn't get home until 4 And I got soup dumplings this morning to just treat my hangover and then I went straight back into my bed and I'm just so tired. I'm glad I did go though because I ended up bumping into a friend there and then 
I ended up going out after the concert and then I didn't get home until 4 a.m. So I'm honestly exhausted. I have not gotten this drunk in so long. Like, I lost my earrings, which I'm really sad about because they were a really good pair of earrings and I also don't know where my false lashes went. I was just a mess. I was so drunk, but you know what? It was worth it. It was so fun and I'm just taking this day to recover and probably edit my vlog. Good morning. It is Halloween. It's Sunday and I'm going to start my day with some yoga because my mind is just all over the place and I actually have some plans for today. The weather is really nice. Um, but I'm not feeling Halloween this year. I don't know really why, but I kind of want to go outside because the weather is so nice today and it's really sunny. This is my yoga fit, um, all Nike. Honestly, it's the only like pair of leggings that fit me well. It's my only long pair of leggings, so yeah. And I love this top. It's time to do some yoga. Um, I just woke up and I am going to my first trial boxing class today so I'm excited because it's been a while since I did Muay Thai and I finally got myself to sign up for a class nearby and I'm excited because I just haven't boxed in forever and I have a lot of pent up energy I need to get out and just so excited to get back into shape. I think I'm gonna check out a cafe nearby the boxing place and then do work and edit some vlogs and then go right back into boxing. <laughs> Just finished uh, editing at the cafe and I was literally working there all afternoon. Now I'm going to roll the kid pop for dinner. So I'm finally home now and I came back from my boxing class and you guys I am so out of shape it's really embarrassing like I almost passed out in the middle of the class okay I didn't pass out but I got like dizzy and I wanted to throw up like that's how out of shape I am and I thought I was in a pretty good space I was like I boxed I just took a little break I do yoga every day I do like light workout no, I could not even handle an hour of Muay Thai, so I am really out of shape and just felt really bad for my partner and felt a little imposter syndrome to be in that space and um, the teachers were really nice, but I don't know if I'll be going back to this one. It's like a little bit far and like now I cannot feel my body at all, like my legs are gonna be so sore tomorrow. I cannot feel anything. I am gonna take a hot shower and then go to sleep. And yeah, at the same time, it does feel really good to finally go to a cl in-person class and work out and not have to like think because my brain is just like dead right now. Um, and I know it's the first class after like a really long hiatus. So I feel like if I keep going at it, I'll eventually get back into shape. Honestly, I just am proud of myself that I took the first step because I have been on a hiatus for like almost six months. So it took a really long time to even step foot into a gym again. Good morning. So it is Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. And I am in my Nike gear about to do some recovery yoga because yesterday's boxing literally took the life out of me and I cannot feel anything. So I'm gonna just do a quick yoga session. My hair is crazy, but yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna spend the day inside because it's pretty gloomy outside and I spent all day at, at the cafe yesterday and then boxing. So I'm still gonna do work today, but in my apartment. It's time to work out. Okay, I clearly need to clean my desktop, but yeah, it's time to work out. I feel like such a Nike ho. So I just got these two new recycling bins from Ikea, thanks to my mom. And I'm gonna assemble it and put it together. There's a trash room <clears throat> right next to my unit. 
and it's like they very specifically sort the recycling and living in Taiwan I'm so used to cleaning my garbage like it's really normal to wash your garbage and take a little bit of time out of your day to separate all of your trash so that is what I'm gonna do because before I was just putting everything together Gotta close my eyes and see Only lavender dreams, baby What can I do when a million things are running? So I'm currently, I'm currently eating lunch And um, I didn't film this yesterday But after the cafe, I went to this place called Roli Kimbap I have like really good other Korean foods And I, there was like a car minimum So I got kimchi fried rice and it came with some sides so yeah i took this out because i was microwaving it and i didn't want it into the plastic but this is the kimchi fried rice and these are the sides where there's just radish salad and a macaroni salad as well it's pretty good i do wish i ordered this with meat though because i didn't know it didn't automatically come with meat but it's pretty good regardless if anyone's in the area, I totally recommend Broly Kimbap. There's also um, Kim Gane, and it's just really cheap, really good Korean food. Hmm. Pretty good. Hello. Um, I am taking a quick editing break. I've been inside all day, and now it's 6 p.m., so I think I'm just gonna leave my video that's currently uploading my new vlog please watch if you haven't and i'm gonna go take a little walk outside because i'm so sore and i feel like i feel even more tired because i just haven't moved all day and it's not helping so yeah let's go hello everybody so i did just go downstairs to try and take a walk but then it started raining and it's so cold like i could barely stand outside for five minutes without freezing to death so i came back in and i'm gonna make my k barbecue now because i have been waiting to grill this pork belly that i have in the fridge and i'm gonna just go to town with it because your girl loves korean food and yeah let's i'm film it for you guys and for the longest time so this is the pork belly with green onion and garlic in k barbecue sauce kimchi sides with the radish onion uh, curry kimchi fried rice the lettuce to wrap the meat in and some seaweed yeah boy Dreams, baby. Good morning, guys. It's currently 7.30 a.m. and I made a bowl of cereal. It's been a really long time since I ate a bowl of cereal. This is the strawberry oh, it's from Trader Joe's, banana and oat milk. And yeah. I'm finally home. It took like an hour to get home. It's currently 6 p.m. and I'm freaking tired. Been at school since 9 a.m. and I'm finally home now. Not even done coding my website. I'm pretty behind. But let's just eat dinner first because I don't have the energy to do anything else. Honestly, an hour is really long, but I'm already used to the commute now and actually that's considered like fast compared to a non-local slower time of day and luckily I just like left when like it was pretty crowded, but I got lucky. 
Okay, but look at the sunset. This is freaking sick right now. Look at this. It's mad cold today, but this makes it all worth it. Just joking. I wish New York wasn't this cold. But yeah. Hi guys. So it's 10 p.m. I have been working on this website non-stop this whole day and I don't even think it's supposed to take that long and I'm tired so I'm gonna go shower head to sleep luckily I don't have to wake up early because I don't really have class tomorrow I just have a zoom call with my teacher and then I have my final and then I got therapy actually this week is honestly really chill like um I have no homework due for Friday and i start a little later than usual so i don't know why i'm stressing over this website when it really really doesn't require that much work as i'm getting my clothes does anyone also resonate with me i have i'm realizing i have terrible time management like it's taking me it took me a full two full days to do this website that really didn't require this much but i let it like consume me and i end up just sitting all day waiting. I'm always anxious that my homework is supposed to be this like grand ordeal when it's really all in my head and when I actually go to class, it's not that serious. So tell me if you guys can relate. I mean, maybe it's cause I go to art and design school and there's like this pressure of critique and you know, and I guess like your own personal pressures of like doing well. But yeah, um, if anyone can relate to me, please let me know because your girl's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go shower now. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 9 a.m. on Thursday. Got clips in my hair because I'm currently doing my makeup. And honestly, I feel really good today. I got to wake up a little later and actually make breakfast, take my time, put on some makeup. Put on a nice sweater that I haven't worn in forever because now it's really cold in New York. And yeah, um, I actually thought I would dread Thursdays because my schedule is pretty packed. It's like 9 a.m. back to back to 3 p.m. and then I have ther therapy and then I don't really get home until pretty late. But actually, I look forward to them now because I feel like the day is so... Um, scheduled that I don't really have to worry about like prioritizing anything I just have to go with the flow and like show up and yeah and I really do like going to therapy in person because the environment's just like so much better than being on zoom um, I've been breaking out because of my period coming so I don't want to like go too crazy with the makeup because I'm wearing a mask at school anyway but I always do like concealer from my top layer and I leave this area totally untouched. Okay, so I'm done getting ready. Um, I feel really good. I put on my earrings, I put on perfume, did my makeup, I'm wearing a cute outfit and I'm just excited to get the day started. I feel like it could be the weather that makes me feel so positive because when it's like super gloomy and stuff, I'm so lethargic. I like don't even want to leave my bed, but today I feel awesome. Okay, this is my breakfast. I made Greek yogurt with honey and apples, banana oat milk with the strawberry O's and this veggie like bun. I finished having a video call with my teacher and he's so nice. I'm really gonna miss my professors from Parsons when I have to graduate. And technically, I'm gonna be a part-time student next semester, so. Oh, I'm really sad. It's all gonna end so soon. And I'm just trying to cherish every moment. I know people are like over classes, but I feel like I really took it for granted when I was a student and really just trying to cherish this last semester. I should really take every opportunity to do better. But yeah, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional at like 10 a.m. But for all anyone who's watching and you're still a student, I know probably it's really stressful and you're over it and you just want to like graduate. But 
honestly take advantage of everything while you're in school this is making me kind of want to do a q a let me know if you want a q a of being a student at parsons or specifically a communication design major not that i feel like i know what i'm doing but it may be helpful for some people i actually feel so cute because i get to bust out my jacket and i'm wearing all like light colors i think this works yeah me i'm swaying along with the trees the sun is falling and the water okay so i'm on my school break i'm in the bathroom no one's in here but just went just presented my final feel like a huge weight is lifted off my shoulders that was really hard especially because i even made my website on something really personal to me it's not easy to talk about so maybe i'll save it for a future vlog but right now i'm just glad i finished that and yeah it's a pretty chill class because my teacher didn't even show up so we're just vibing we're just chilling and yeah let's go back to the classroom Starting a freeze, that's why I close my eyes When I'm across in the street I keep a stack of letters from all my closest friends So I know they're real, they really love me Cause they like to play pretend Summer hasn't started But it feels like it's the end cause I think ahead Hey, so I'm home now and I got this purple rice yogurt this purple rice yogurt drink place that just opened up next to my apartment and I don't really eat purple rice. I don't really like it to be honest, but it looks really good. So I just want to treat myself since I've been out all day and try it on camera for you guys. So whoever made this for me, he put the name Swaglord on the tag. It's I think that's just pretty funny. But anyway, let's try this. Mmm! Okay, first taste, the yogurt is so, like, it has that, like, curdy kind of taste, so it, like, hits you and it's, like, super cheesy. So it kind of tastes like the cheesecake or, like, um, cream cheese flavor. Doesn't really taste like purple rice. Kind of just tastes sweet. I mean, that's purple rice. It just tastes sweet and kind of just substitutes, like, what you would get if you got, like, boba. It's like the tapioca of like the yogurt. Overall, I think it's really good. I would say it is really thick though. So I feel like you'll get full and really sick of this like halfway, but we'll see where I get with it. This was 650, give or take, I think close to $7. So kind of pricey, but also really normal for a drink. I think the packaging is really cute and the interior of the place is really small but also really clean and cute because it just opened also the girl working there was really nice and complimented me on my drink bag that i got in taiwan i'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. it's okay but i don't think i could drink this daily or on the weekly because it's like pretty heavy it's a really good dessert drink it's definitely giving me like a different perspective to purple rice since I don't really eat it that much. Okay, that's my review. Hello, decided to do my nails. I just cut them with a nail clipper. Now I'm going to file them and then paint them. So I go with my cuticle oil. This one is some Japanese one I got in Taiwan. Honestly, actually all of my nail polish I got at like Watson's or Cosmed when I was in Taiwan. And I'm just gonna go put this on my cuticles. I actually have very bad cuticles and I always pick at them, which is not good. The hand lotion I put on before is this molten brown, orange and bergamot, or bergamot, bergamot hand lotion. That's very fancy, but I just got it in London. Primer, base, coat. Like the plan, so I'm never in suspense. I'm boring, guess. Okay, primer is done. Now I'm going to use this. 
this nail color. This is like my go-to, also like the only nail color I really own. It's like light pink, my favorite color. So yeah. When I'm across in the street When I'm across in the street I'm done! I don't know if you guys can see it. It is actually pretty ugly, so don't look at it. But, I'm finished and I just like this color, so... Yep. Yes, yeah, I haven't painted my nails in so long. Okay. I feel like ending the world.